it is time for yet another Twitter analysis. I have not done one of these in quite some time, and I think it's time for me to dust it off and, you know, do, you know, bring it back to fruition. And I don't think this is going to be a long one. Now, usually when I do a Twitter uh, analysis, it's usually off of someone else's tweet. But this time it's off of my tweet. So I posted this tweet up on January 31st, 2021. And I said, notice a lot of jobs want you to know more than one language, a.k.a. no Spanish nowadays. That's not on accident. I had 59 retweets, 11 quoted tweets and 383 likes. Now, I forgot what tweet I had saw on Twitter. I think it, I forgot who it was. It was a black uh, woman. And she had tweeted something to the effect um, of uh, how in her job now is almost requiring you to have to speak another language, even if you never learn how to speak that language and everything nowadays. If you notice when you call into something and it's an automated message, it says that, you know, press one for English and then they'll say press two for Spanish. But they'll have the automated message speaking in Spanish, in Espanol and things of that nature things like that and you know it's like okay it's whatever we know why they're doing it because you know the multiple language that's happening here but now what's happening is you're now getting into the position of you having to know and learn another language to nowadays even get a job this is why a lot of people are going into entrepreneurship to have to avoid having to do that and whatnot so you know i was like getting like a pretty decent response and uh things of that nature but then again of course i also um had a lot of pushback as well and you're about to see exactly what i mean from these quoted tweets like this one right here this one just responded to me they said there are people out there whose language is link only language is english who think they have definite rights over bi slash trilingual immigrants in the work space. And then they said, hold on, instead of taking his resentment on the individuals who set up the competition, he shits on the people at the bottom. Now, I went to this person's page and I responded back to them. This person, first of all, isn't even in the States. This person is all the way over in London. And they sitting up here trying to come at me about come at me about American issues. So, uh, this person right here says, and notice what's going on and notice like where the pushback is coming from. Don't worry, it was some black people and then you'll see their responses too. Um, this person says, pay attention, go back to my previous post and give yourself or children an introduction with DS Games Chinese to follow the money and executive orders. So basically what's going on is now you even have black people saying, okay, now we just have to conform because, you know, Joe Biden said we're opening up the borders to allow 11 million immigrants to come in. I said this is by design. It didn't start with him, but this has been festering over for years, for years. But he's carrying it on. Y'all see what's happening now. When we say we're there, when people say we are being replaced, they mean that. Look at the executive order where they put in something for Asians. Nothing in there for black people at all. It's all by design. Let me keep uh, going. This is start by grabbing my book. This is another black person. I guess that they have some kind of a book on different languages and they said, I'm going to go grab the book. I'm not going to go grab your book, but thanks for the advertisement, I guess. Um, they says, LOL, look at the resentment rather than curiosity to learn. And look again, look at the name that's coming from another non an, another non um black probably non-american i'm not sure where they're from saying this and they're coming at my neck for you know for you know my opinion about the matter which actually is indeed true and you know what's so crazy if i did not highlight spanish as a you know as a language they probably wouldn't have said anything and the thing is when i type this this uh this um tweet up I initially wasn't going to put Spanish in there, but I put Spanish in there for a reason because that's a primary language that is almost like they're forcing you to learn. I mean, think about it. When you were in high school, 
and you had to take a foreign language class, the only two that was offered was French and Spanish. Those were the only two that was assigned back then. And I took those courses back when I was in, I take it, I, you know, I take it even further back. It was a, something called a flex class. Basically flex was learning multiple languages in a particular year. And I swear the teacher that we had was a black teacher and he stayed on Spanish for a good chunk of the year before we even got to another language. You would thought it was a full blown Spanish class. And that was for me back between the years of 2000 and 2003. Then I got into uh, to um, high school and I wanted to take French because I was so tired of Spanish or, to, or like to, um, the Spanish. Like that teacher I had in middle school, espanol me out. I was worn out. So I decided to take up another language. Huh, let's see. This person says, have y'all been paying attention to the toys too? All the ones that have songs or teaching the basics has a Spanish version in the same toy. And yes, most jobs prefer you to be bilingual. This says this person says that's why I'm teaching myself now. Pimp's lure is way better than Rosetta Stone. So these are people who are learning a different language. I actually downloaded the Duolingo app, but I have not been on it in a long, long time. This person right here says only Americans and British people think the default language of the world is English. Everywhere else in the world, most people are bi or trilingual. Nowhere did I say that English is the only language. But see, because I said Spanish in there, they took it as me talking in a very elitist tone and saying that English is the default language of the world. Is I didn't say that. It, where in my tweet did I say that English was the default language? All I said is notice a lot of jobs want you to know more than one language, a.k.a. no Spanish. And the reason why I said no Spanish is because that's one of the primary languages that they want you to know. If you don't know any other language, that's the one they really want you to know. Nowhere in there did I say that, oh, English is the default language. If you come around me, just only speak English and everything like that. However, I will say this. If you are a person who is of a Spanish speaking descent and I know that you can speak English and I and you come at me sideways talking to me in Spanish. That's why I've always said I need if you are going to be speaking in another language to me and you know how to speak English and you know I can't speak Spanish, speak in English to me because I don't know what you're saying. You could be disrespecting me. That's one reason why a lot of people, especially a lot of black people want to learn another language. So not because they can speak it, but to know what that person is saying about them because they could be cursing them out. They could be calling them something very racist. You never know. This person said that's some bull and it says pretty soon it will be a requirement. At this point, it's damn near a requirement. It says we voted for our own oppression because bruh said not things that didn't make us feel good. I'm guessing he was talking about um, touchy Philly. But to be honest, this was going on way before Joe Biden was even a topic of discussion. Like I said, like when I just talked about my classes when I was in middle school and high school. Now, this one right here, this one said, um, explain the issue with being bilingual. I didn't say I had an issue with it. What, like, where are they getting this from? I didn't say I had an issue. This is more than, and she spelled half wrong. But look at her name, your slave master at white boy serve. That tells you all, all you need to know more than half and can't even spell half right. But she's saying more than half the world's population, aside from the Ameri from Americans, speak more than one language. Spanish speaking Americans are here and make up a huge percentage of our population's second language. OK. I didn't say that they did not They just took. See, like I said, if I did not put that in there, I would not have gotten this vitriol. But because I mentioned Spanish in the tweet, that's what got them all up in arms. I got and listen, I got attacked from uh, the academy. It was a it was a black woman who was in the academy that came after me. In a, and not only did she have the academy flag, but she had the Jamaican flag. So, you know, she was a non black American born. I got attacked from our so-called brown allies like this person right here. I think that she is. And look at her name. And a couple, you know, a couple of others. So it doesn't surprise me. That's how they, you know, how they came at me. 
That doesn't mean I don't want to learn the language if I decide to choose to learn the language, but we know what it is. If they are making you having to know another language as a requirement to get employment, we know who the job is set up for. Or do I need to pull out uh, that uh, situation that happened a couple of uh, last year, late last year, where in Ward 8, they purposely gave those jobs to Mexicans who didn't even live in Ward 8. They probably lived in Virginia or Maryland and came and traveled into Ward 8 to work construction. And then when black people protested, they tried to spin it and said that black people were being discriminatory against uh, Mexican workers. When that wasn't even the case, because in Ward 8, it's documented that they have to give those jobs to those who live in Ward 8. None of the ones who was working there that day lived in Ward 8. So they broke their contract, which should be a lawsuit. And then they'll try to say black people are lazy. I bet you they're not going to talk about that, though. But I said what I said, and I meant it. And it's true. Like I said, notice a lot of jobs want you to know more than one language, a.k.a. no Spanish nowadays. That's not on accident, and it's not. But they got so butt hurt because I said Spanish in the tweet. Do you think I give a damn? Because I don't. I really don't. I'm just pointing out the facts. And if you can't handle it, then that's your problem, not mine. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Text the number that's pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video. You know what? I thought I was done with this video, but it turns out I am not done with this video. So I wanted to come on here and just like be <laughs> like, just l look at some of the stuff they responded to me with. And like I expanded the comments. I should have did this early in the initial part of the video, but you know what it, it is, what it is. So this is that person right here who responded to me. Mind you, this is the one I said is overseas. I said, you're overseas worrying about American I issues. Mind your uh, I, I meant to say mind your, I, you said, I was trying to say mind your across the seas or across the pond business. I messed up on the tweet, but it is what it is. This person came back and said, this isn't strictly an American issue. LOL, just stay mad. You can only speak one language. Oh, is that supposed to hurt my feelings? Am I supposed to be upset because I can't speak, an, I, I can't speak another language? Is Am I supposed to be upset by that? I guess I am. This was another one right here that Anne Marie Latrosi or whoever she is. She said, hello, the resentment, the curiosity to learn sad. And then I said, that's easy for your flat ass to say. And she does have a flat ass. 